Welcome to another Eco Sports Adventure. This is going to be a two day camp at Wallar Creek near Mudgee in New South Wales. The first bit's a bit of scrub bashing. Talking to the camera. <laughs> we nearly made it to the river, all the way down there. We made it to Wallar Creek now, we're going to follow it down to the Goulburn River. So it's usually not this much water, we've had a lot of rainfall recently which is good. A year ago this was all dry. So we're going to be self-sufficient on this trip, we've got our tents, sleeping bags and food, everything we need for a weekend. So these waterproof boots and gaiters are handy for these creek crossings. It's a bit, a bit deeper here. <laughs> it's important to have some water with you and hydrate. If you get thirsty, it's too late, you're dehydrated already. So it's good to have a sip fairly often. Having it around your neck, it's pretty convenient. Oh, it's just beautiful and tranquil out here, down the Wallar Creek. Nice pleasant weather, it's not too hot, not too cold. Where else would you want to spend the weekend? It's awesome here. So I've got a lump of coal here, there's a yearland coal mine nearby. So there's lots of natural coal deposits like that. Oh, I better try the bridge. Working so far. Now I believe in yoga then. <laughs> I used to hate it. Just don't look down. You're committed now, you've got to keep going. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> There's a beautiful overhang here, you can camp here if the weather's bad. Got a model here. Oh, right. Working at it. Working at it, baby. He wants to see the oh. uh, centre pages of the Bush Walking Club oh. newsletter. <laughs> but see, that's one of the things the grain changes, and you'll get further down. There are some real, you get red, some purple strands, and really gets quite uh, very coloured. Yeah. This is the penthouse level up here. These all the Yes, yes. Nice lyre bird nest here. Mm. Up in here. It's wor worth a look. Lyre bird footprints here. I didn't have much dessert last night. It's a tight squeeze coming up. <laughs> you didn't point that at me, did you just then? No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's less than a kilometre to the campsite. Yeah. Can't wait to stop walking. <laughs> It's 
a bit more open now, there's less scrub and more grass, which is easier walking. Put spa, I'll put spa up the rapids. We have to designate the water collection spot. It's hard work trying to find a good creek crossing point. <laughs> oh, it's, I'm still getting wet. <laughs> I think just less wet. I'm looking forward to getting my feet up at the campsite and just relaxing. Made it to the campsite now, time to set up the tent. morning now I've had breakfast I've got to pack up the tent and then we'll get going in a little while that's last night's mist it'll all have to be packed up soon beautiful morning wasn't too cold no frost it's a start of day two now there's less scrub and more grasslands, which is nicer. Jeez. <laughs> Marabelle's going to be the guinea pig. <laughs> let, everyone quiet, let her concentrate. I'm not going to listen to my mother, I shouldn't be able to listen. Uh, okay, the wood is nice and strong. You're going to go across it. I'm letting you go first. Right. <laughs> well seen. That's the point of the first piece. One, two, three. <laughs> Good job. You could see that was going to be over there. Oh, that was lucky. I made it across without falling. Very much see the sand, sandy river. The last time we was here, the river was lower. And it's much more what you call a braided. Yeah, the there's, there's normally less water, and it's a lot more braided, so you can crisscross it easily. The water flushing out over that side. So if you've got a thousand tonnes a minute of water coming down here, and you've got 200 tonnes of water coming in the creek, it's not going to be able to compress it and push it. So what you find is this river causes a dam to this. So what you find is you'll have a big eddy, a big backflow here, and where there's the cliff you'll find there's what they call a standing wave. You've seen the um, seen the um, surfing, indoor surfing, yeah. that kind of stuff. So what will happen is the wall will be compressed a bit, and you can see here, you know, it'll work its way along here. You notice there's uh, all the signs of the debris love. But in it's just a case of here, you can find the water going up six or ten feet up there being pushed a little bit, you know, compressed or you have the big standing wave there. And what you find is you'll have back edges. So this will flow, you know, you've got a certain amount. 
Let's see when the floods come through here. Knock down all these trees. Water would have been up to here. These rocks here are just amazing. <laughs> a lot of debris to step over here from the flights. <coughs> So we're heading up a side creek now, back to the car, it's just a bit of the final leg. Bower bird nest here, they click blue stuff. And if you rearrange it, he knows and it'll, he'll, back he'll put it back. Like it. Yeah. He, um, he does rearrange it himself, but if you yeah, if it comes back and it's different, he'll no, he knows. Amazing rock formations here. Just look at that. You can hear the cockatoo screeching. Nice wattle tree up ahead. Uh, leaving this little creek now, heading back to the cars. There's only one way to go and that's up. <laughs> On the right. Near right, right. Oh, I'm not Almost there. Our expert leaders navigated us to the car. <laughs> well done, Jamie. Almost there. <laughs> Few more meters to go. <laughs> Made it to the road. Ha <laughs> ha